Real Grade Zeta Gundam. Hey, what's up again, everybody? Robert, one of you four, two R's, two B's, at GundamReviews.net, and Quattro will say hello, but Char will not, as it's time to continue my look at the Real Grade Zeta Gundam here. Gonna be a sort of a new take, though, because the construction sort of lends itself to just having the completed on mess. So without further ado, here is the Real Grade Zeta Gundam when you follow the directions and put everything together into one solid mobile suit. So let's start with the colors because I think that that's got to be one of the best features of this for me. Uh, you've got the two kinds of white here, although that doesn't make sense. So one off-white to go along with the regular white. You can see some nice color apps all over the place between the yellow thrusters down there in the legs. Gray on the insides, bright red on the back and down on the bottom of the feet. And then on the thrusters, the black is definitely going to pop there. I put some white lining on there, which is definitely going to set it apart from some of the way that I've done some of the other kits in the past. But my absolute favorite feature just has to be that if you buy Gundam paints, you're familiar with the fact that there's various kinds of blue. Whether you're buying the blue for first Gundam or for age or seed, things like that. But most importantly, the second most famous blue is the Zeta blue here. And I think they could not have done a better job. The colors on every single one of these plates pop. And when you put this whole thing together and you just see this amount of detail provided with just a little bit of lining thanks to the quality plastic underneath, I think somebody from 1985 would fall off their chair if they saw this uh, back in 1985. To look at posability, you're always gonna have to consider the fact that this is a transforming Gundam in 1 144th scale here and not necessarily a parts former. So what are you gonna be able to get? Well, first of all, the whole kit, I'm just gonna tell you, feels very, very loose. The upper body, the shoulders are gonna feel loose, the waist section, the chest section, the head is not so bad, but even then it's got the neck there moving all around. And especially down here for the waist section, it, this is nothing secure about this kid. If you want to have him standing on the ground as you just saw on the turntable, he'll do that, which is in a way better than the Master Grade already. But if you want to do too much with him, you're just going to feel that he's going to be flimsy no matter what you do. Here's the waist skirts. You can see that they're going to pop up and they're going to have some strange looking mechanisms attaching them on in there. And for the leg itself, you can bring it up for a kick if uh, Camille was taught something like that by Char. The side skirts are going to go up and you can just see that moving the whole inner frame on the inside. And you could have the legs come up for a full splits, but again, when you try to put it down, you can just see in here that everything is going to want to separate. So not something you're going to want to do that often. For the legs, though, it's going to be helped by the fact that they can rotate up here. You're just going to have to lock everything into place. And for the knee bend, you can see that this is going to bend here and you're going to get a nice bend, although, of course, these tails are going to get in the way there. This thigh is going to split ever so slightly there, but you're going to see nice chunks of black and gray on the inside when you bend that down. And when you bend it back in here together, you are going to get a bit of a reverse one here. And by a bit, I mean you're going to get over 90 degrees to bend the leg forward if you wanted to freak somebody out at a party. Here you can see the thrusters are going to move up and down there. Some great gray details there on the inside. And for the feet themselves, this is going to move down here quite securely. It's one of the more secure joints on the whole body and the ankles as well. One thing that uh, this seems to be already better than the Master Grade is just that this is going to stay in place and hopefully as long as you can get the legs into a position that's not going to destroy the waist armor that you can get the ankles to go where you want them. The upper body here is going to be hindered by the fact that it's got these parts attached onto the back which I have to say I'm pretty happy here with some of the lining that went on in there and the red and the white is just going to really help it pop but you can see that these things are going to move around. You can bring up the tail stabilizer there and you can just see that the whole mechanism is going to move pretty loosely there. And this is where it's going to stay attached. So you're not free to move this all the way up. But if you wanted to go back to the main parts here, and the main concern, the waist itself is going to rotate around and it's going to rotate well. But you're going to be able to move it off to the side, although that doesn't feel so secure. The chest here, if you open it up, you're going to see all sorts of parts there for the mechanics for the inside and the transformation. And again, that neck is going to be very, very flimsy. Thanks to the yellow part there, which has to elevate her. The white parts here for the shoulders, you're not going to be able to bring the shoulders up here necessarily. Again, that's going to be for the transformation. But you are able to rotate these parts around, and these actually feel very secure when you're rotating them. The blue parts are also going to open up, and you can swing this part up if you wanted to have the arm coming up this way, which is a nice touch. You can see that the white part there is going to rotate, and the elbows are going to reveal some cool inner frame, and a few little gold dots if you want to put those on when you're deckling him up there. Nice details there in terms of the hands and for the wrist, you're not going to have anything fancy 00 style. But then again, considering Master Grades today, you don't have three finger trigger finger splits. This, if I could do it, needs a thumbs up. For comparison, how about these two next to each other? Going back to 1985 in various sizes and scales, 220th, 
one one forty fourth, one hundredth, and one sixtieth for at least the Zeta. Then the high grades coming out in the early nineteen nineties. Anyway, after high grade Universal Century, these two beside each other just look fantastic, and I'd imagine on par in terms of getting people excited as the Master Grade two point oh's, and of course the original Master Grades back in the mid nineties. Here you can just see that the Mark II is definitely going to be a lot shorter as it should be. The Zeta is not going to look Gundamish in the very traditional sense there. Skinny feet, wide lower legs there looking good though, but that blue is just going to pop. Very different both of these Gundams from the original RX-78 II. And he's also just going to be a lot more bulked out because of the Wave Rider attacked or the parts that are going to be attached onto his back. But some of those details there, like the fact that you've got the yellow vents with the grey on the inside and the grey joints around the red part that's going to open up for the cockpit, definitely in terms of looks, it's a win. And something that was missing out on a lot of those kits and grades was the Hambrabi. Nice to have an HGUC, but this is just going to give you an idea, of course, of the difference between an RG and an HGUC here. Lots of little details. This is definitely one of the better HGUCs in terms of the different details that you're going to get on there, but when you just consider how many small and especially when how many movable parts there are over there. Again, no contest in terms of looks and complexity. And if you want to talk about the Holy Five, here's the last of them, the new Gundam. This is in its HGUC, guys. You can see, though, that with the fin funnels on, that he's definitely going to take the lead in overall height, even though he'd already take it with the head height there. But the Zeta, again, looks like he's holding his own. Of course, it's just going to be a question of whether we could be getting an RG of him, considering the new Master Grade that everybody is very anticipating. And next to Real Grade Freedom, you can see that he's going to have bigger wings, but in terms of head height, the Zeta is going to be pretty much everybody but new and unicorn here, especially when you've got his legs more closely positioned together. But the quality of these kits definitely just screams new grade and excitement embodied. And even though one of these things is not like the other, and actually not even the right one, how about this for a combination? And again, another thing I think everybody would like to see this full set done up in real grade. Out of the group though, and in terms of ground posing, I've got to say that these legs are definitely getting there a lot better than the Master Grade 2.0, and those solid ankles with that stiff resistance whenever you try to pose them is actually going to help offset the fact that he's just so loose in so many of the other joints. But no problems at all looking down the barrel of the beam rifle there, and the shield is going to look really cool when you bring it across. It should be noted though that if you try to do anything too fancy with the feet, even though they do a good job there, you can see that sometimes they are just going to want to collapse all over the place. So anyway, let's just take a look at this. You're also going to have to be careful here with these parts because if you try to move them too much out of the way, then they're going to definitely just pop off and become detached from the back. However, you could at least have the one part up there for some cool parts. It's great to see the little details there like the red parts there on the inside of the shield and the beam savers are going to look good and they've got a peg to fit into the manipulator very well. And yes, that's the kind of thing that you're probably going to get if you're going for mostly ground poses. Here's a closer look at the grenade launcher on the shield, which is going to slide up and down very nicely. But you can also take these parts and add them into the forearms. And there's a very little tiny gate here that if you open it up, it's going to expose two very small and hard to see gray missiles on the inside. However, it's still nice to have that another play attack and posing option. And to go aerial, you're going to need this custom part here, which is you're going to take the action base to bend down the attachment point and attach this on and attach it to the waist section. And because Bandai's been doing such a good job of including custom action bases in kits high grade that transform uh, from Gundam Age, I don't have an action base 2 around, so this is Jury Rig 2 and Action Base 1. However, you're going to have the same problem no matter what you attach it onto, because the way they've got that grey part attached onto either the action base 1 or 2 is it's definitely going to look protruding and out of place there. But nonetheless, when you get them up in the air, the legs, which already have had a few problems, but are definitely better than you'd expect, the shield there extended is going to look good, and more importantly, if you take the beam rifle and you add in the beam saber there, remember that they're going to be giving you the long and the short variety, so you could either have them in hand or out like this, definitely looking like everything you'd want from a Zeta, minus a big blue gun. So that'll wrap up my look at the mobile suit mode here for the real grade Zeta Gundam. Definitely some pluses, definitely some minuses, and stick around, of course, you can hear them all in the verdict. 
But the real question is going to be is how does a transformation, this is the first real grade to transform, how does that work out? So stick around to see that, and as always, please let me know what you think of the mobile suit, of the character, and of the video itself. Love to hear from you. We'll see you next time, everybody. If only there was the right golden suit there. See ya. Now you got it, kid. More of that.